Hey guys, thanks for joining us on another episode of Sailing Spyrodon. This is the story of a family who sold everything and bought a sailboat. Our mission is to learn together, to spread love and kindness, and to explore the world around us. And of course we're going to share boat maintenance and how to build or fix things. Hello. We will share our boat projects and crafts that we do along the way. This is our home, and in it, we plan to build a foundation for traveling education so our son and our audience can see how beautiful the world can be. And please, don't forget to hit that notification button and the subscribe button, that way you don't miss any future episodes. And check us out on Instagram for some more day-to-day -day action. Yeah. Thanks for stopping in, and we hope you enjoy. Hello and welcome to another episode of Sailing Spyrodon. Spyrodon took off from Texas in March of 2020, which we all remember was the beginning of the pandemic. Upon arriving to Pensacola, we ultimately decided that sailing is social distancing. So we kept traveling and we were gonna continue traveling until someone stopped us or we made it to our destination goal, which was Connecticut and New York area. And Gene decided it was in his best interest to also stay aboard since there was not much to return to back home nowadays. In the last episode, we entered the largest Walgreens we've ever seen in Clearwater and decided to go a little bit more north to check out Caldesi Island because it was supposed to be prime snorkeling. The water was clear, so we decided to dive down and check out our bottom. And yes, she is a dirty girl. This is where Jenton saw his first shark. This little guy swam around our boat for two days, and it seemed like every time we picked up the crab pot, he reappeared. So we went to the beach, and well... David S. Durham, his happy place. Sir Durham, I approve of your happy spot. Look at our little sailboat all the way out there. And we found a whole lot of these little guys. Their shells are so pretty. I'm not sure what they were up to, but it kind of looked like a threesome. So far, I found this many more. Look at how much shells I found. While the family continued to hunt for crabs and scuba dive around, I decided to check out the state park. I'm sure pre-COVID times, this state park was slammed with people on a weekend basis, but due to COVID, it was absolutely dead. And normally people come to pay for camping or do weddings. There's also a playground and lots of different amenities in this state park, but COVID happened, so there was nobody, except for an armadillo. I somehow lost the footage that I got of the armadillo though. He was so cute. I spent 15 years in Texas and never saw a live armadillo before. I decided to turn around because I thought I heard a four-wheeler and I didn't want to get in trouble for being here, so I quickly made it back to the beach. I read online that you can reserve the campgrounds for weddings and different events, and I thought that was pretty cool. If anybody would like a fire dancer at their event at Caldessi Island, consider me, because I would love to do a gig here. 
Or maybe one day I will host a full moon ceremony here and I can do a fire walk. That would be so rad. Anyways, they left their bathrooms and showers open. Clearly they were clean due to COVID, but I thought it was pretty awesome that they didn't lock it all up. So after swimming, the boys were able to wash off with fresh water and clean our swimsuits with fresh water. The experience that we had at Caldesi Island was amazing and uniquely beautiful. And we are so grateful for the memories that we were able to create at this island during a time that was so stressful for so many. Well, guys, thanks for checking out another episode of Sailing Spiridon. I know this is a small episode, but I lost a lot of my footage, and I'm just trying to work with what I got. Follow our channel as we continue to travel through this crazy time. YouTube is a bit delayed, so if you want to see more real-time travels, check us out on TikTok and Instagram.